It's almost as if Carmelo Anthony is resurrected, scoring 16.5 points per game, the most in the last 5 seasons. But even crazier is the fact that he's shooting an astonishing 53% from downtown and is number 4 in the league right now in total 3 pointers made. That's insane and I doubt that anyone expected Melo to open the season like this. So let me show you the real reason behind this. What up everybody, my name is Stefan and this is Heat Check. Let's get into it. While you watch these videos, let me provide some context by saying that 60% of his overall shot attempts come with zero dribbles, meaning just catching and shooting the ball. This is a complete upside down change in his style of play from how we've known Anthony throughout his entire career. Just compare these shots to some vintage Melo. The jab steps, the dribbling, the moves, the fadeaways. And I'm not saying that this is a bad thing. This is how he became one of my favorite players. This was the case for an entire generation of NBA fans. But when you lose the quickness and the body is no longer that fresh, the moves are no longer that sharp, you need to adjust your game accordingly. This is what Carmelo struggled with for so long. First in OKC and especially in Houston. Playing alongside Westbrook and Chris Paul, Anthony was supposed to fill in a specific role of being a catch-and-shoot player, which he failed miserably at the time. But after a successful redemption in Portland, and especially after receiving the call from none other than LeBron James, Carmelo knows that this is possibly his best chance to win a championship and lift his legacy to a whole new level. And it seems like he knew exactly what to do. Focus on catch-and-shoot. Don't try to do too much, don't overcomplicate things, just do what the team needs you to do. In fact, he's been so good at not complicating things. Almost two-thirds of his shots came in less than two seconds. I don't know what's wilder, the fact that the NBA is even tracking this or that Melo is able to get up shot after shot in such a short time and be this lethal with it. You can see just how simple these are. LeBron is drawing the attention and the help, stays patient and flings a pass all the way outside, the swing to Melo who is wide open and the three. Right here off of the penetration, the defense is drawn in, Anthony is outside, the quick catch and shoot and the swish from downtown. They've also been trying out some interesting things like this fake screen up top. Melo slips it, the quick pass, he has enough room to fire away and hits it. Frank Vogel has been praising the new look from Anthony as a catch-and-shoot player, but the loudest was LeBron and he obviously likes what he sees from his buddy. What Melo adds uh, as a floor spacer and as a catch-and-shoot guy? Um, a threat. Yes, he is a, a sniper, um, what we call in our league, guys that don't need much airspace to get it off because there's quick trigger and, you know, it creates so much space for myself, Russ, and AD to work our pick-and-roll magic. When you have guys like Melo and guys that can space the floor and keep guys uh, honest on the perimeter. So yeah, in the fight for his first ever NBA title, Carmelo Anthony is attempting the most threes than any other season. And most importantly, firing away without pounding the rock. And so far, this huge change in his game is paying off big time. Were you surprised to see Melo start off this hot? Let me know in the comments. That's it for now. Subscribe and talk to you in the next one. Peace out. Carmelo Anthony, let's go.